This is a pretty simple fault to troubleshoot and also an easy one to fix. Here, Organization Block 1 is open. We will click the Download button. Turn on Monitoring. You can see that the processor has faulted and gone to the stop mode. As a general rule, the first place to look when a fault occurs is the CPU's diagnostic buffer located in the Module Information Tool. You can open the Module Information Tool right here from the Programming Editor by going to the PLC menu and choosing Module Information or press and hold the Control key plus the D key. Click on the Diagnostic Buffer tab. Message 1 shows that the CPU has gone to the stop mode. In the Details window, you can see that the fault occurred in Function Block 18. Message 2 says that an FC was not loaded. Click on Message 2. The details of Message 2 show that it was Function 28 that was not loaded. OB121 was called for when the fault occurred. If OB121 had been in the CPU, the CPU would not have gone to the stop mode. Let's return to Message 1. If the CPU goes to the stop mode, as occurred here, you can click the Open Block button to see the online block where the fault occurred. As the online block opens, you see a message that at least one subroutine is not available. Click OK. You can see from the online block FB18 that the call to function 28 is red, meaning that it is missing in the CPU. This agrees with message 2 from the diagnostic buffer. Let's close the online block. Go to your project in Somatic Manager. Highlight function 28 and click the download button. The problem is that after creating function 28, we made the call to it but forgot to download it. Then when OB1 was downloaded, it went looking for the subroutine and couldn't find it. The CPU then called for OB121, and when it didn't find this subroutine either, went to the stop mode. You can learn more about Organization Block 121 by watching the video OB121. The missing subroutine has been downloaded, and now the CPU needs to be returned to the run mode. This can be done physically at the CPU by moving the switch to stop and back to run. We will do it from Somatic Manager. Click the PLC menu and select Diagnostic Setting. Choose Operating Mode. In the Operating Mode window, you can see the current state of the CPU is Stop. Click the Warm Restart button. Confirm the Warm Restart message. The CPU is running again. Close the Operating Mode window. The block can now be monitored, and that concludes this video.